So the impulse, the understanding, the freedom of impulse of just doing your own thing and not listening to everyone else and doing things, Jupiter is going to be aligned to encouraging adrenaline when it's in Aries. Well, that can be good, or if you're someone's really aggressive and harmful, this could be really bad. In Scorpio, it's more about trust and sharing. It's going to be encouraging sexual experiences of being trustworthy. It's going to encourage the value of a sexual experience. Oh, this is really important. This is really significant. This is really full of understanding of trust. You need that experience. Or negatively, how could that, I was there for you. How could you pull away? How could you leave me? How could you leave me, you bitch? Or how could you leave me, you jerk? It's, it's still going to have that misunderstanding on the Mars. An experience went bad. Do I understand it right? Or just do I understand it? My Jupiter's in Scorpio. It took me 20 years to realize I might have something to do with why my first wife left and that she wasn't completely the only one wrong, even though she did break the trust. But it takes time. That's the fixed understanding. I'm understanding what angry things and what aggressive things and what sexual things, who was trustworthy and who wasn't. So for me, my first wife took off with my four-month-old baby and I didn't find him for five years. That hit a big trust nerve and big judgments. So like I said, it took me 20 years to kind of forgive and grow beyond it. But it had, it really drove me to do other things. Actually, from that, I learned how to love everybody's kid as if they were my own. But when it came to my own, it didn't, things didn't seem fair. I was Jupiter struggling to emerge. But, and it's very judgmental in Scorpio. It's good for research, it's good for studying astrology, trying to see the reasons behind things, but it tends to be, when it gets into a negative side, it has too strong, Jupiter exaggerates it to a fault. So there's a need to, there's really a strong need to be morally judgmental about your actions with the Jupiter in Scorpio. So, I mean, this is a puzzle. Each planet is like a different being, a different level, dimension of consciousness. It's a totally different approach to it. I mean, our approach, the approach to Jupiter is we have an expand wonder puzzle. It's a puzzle, very different than Mars or Venus or Mercury. Moon is a puzzle. Venus was a bit of a puzzle, but in a different way. So each of these planets have very unique qualities. And as you get used to them, and you begin to watch them, you begin to see them in a chart, you begin to grow with them, and you begin to become be have better use of the astrological language. So I'm trying to make the symbols that we're using come alive. So you may be symbol-minded, but we're trying to make it more alive symbol-minded. So it becomes more experientially minded. Okay. Then my Scorpio humor there. Okay. Um, when Jupiter gets into Sagittarius space, these are both social signs. One is trying to belong more the Sag to see whatever he was doing, make it enthused, get everywhere, see everything. And in Pisces, trying, it's seeing, understanding how everybody has a different story, not everybody, how anybody can make mistakes and how to fix them and how to do what's right. So one has the enthusiasm to understand and to see the overview, and one has the compassion to understand how anybody can have their story. Not everybody's perfect. It's the opposite of the Jupiter, of the, of the Virgo, trying to understand what's perfect. But Jupiter and Pisces understand what's right, what's kind, what's good. So Jupiter rules Sagittarius and Pisces. These are the two signs. Most naturally, the philosophical view of Jupiter and, and Sag and the moral view of Jupiter and Pisces, these are two very strong guidelines. If you're guided by doing moral things or proper things or, or principled things, wow, that's a good guidance. But if you're guided by immoral or unprincipled actions, you'll get an abundance of experiences that will accumulate that way. And there's a tendency to scramble around to get a great diversity of this. And at times in your life, there'll be a strong need to just your understanding to shine as being somewhat. You'll tend to believe your principles are moral, even when you're not. But being moral or being principled is way better than the other alternatives. Although not people who are being immoral may not think so. <laughs> um, when Jupiter gets into Capricorn Aquarius, it's in the winter signs, the cold signs. This is the Saturn rulerships, Capricorn Aquarius. Jupiter understands the roles of responsibility of father and understands the implications of what discipline was needed or what discipline has been done or hasn't been done. So its understanding is aligned with the 
authority and with responsibility and with discipline and with achievement in your life, with plans to accomplish something. I want to go somewhere, okay, I understand what I need to do to get that job. I got to get this extra course. I got to do these things so I can get that point. So it's strategic. So Jupiter aligns with the strategy, social strategy, where you fit in, what are you going to accomplish, what are you going to do. This is very really powerful, but Jupiter to Saturn is a useful influence. It makes it aware of the responsibilities, and by being a little cautious, it will be able to guide Mars and your experiences a little bit better. In transits in the world, when Mars, when Jupiter aligns with Mars, aggression and wars happen, and fights happen, and, and, and adrenaline is entering. When Jupiter, so desires are too strong, they're encouraged. When Jupiter aligns with Saturn, responsibility, authority figures are ennobled, and the and the understanding of what it takes to be in charge of things and to be responsible is so. That's a very different thing than encouraging the actions. So when it's negative, it's, it's bad rulership. When it's po so, when there's in the world when Mars makes a difficult aspect or makes an effect to Jupiter, there's usually wars in the world and fights and accidents. When it comes to uh, Saturn, there's often more severe judgments of what are the rules and what are the respects, what are what 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 are the regulations, and an understanding of those disciplines and restraints. So. Um, you're trying to understand the right structure, the right teacher, if that was right or wrong, what you learned from it, but how to be prepared. So it's understanding about being prepared and, have, and having the right education knowledge before you do things. But that's a whole different thing than just understanding the need for security in cancer, the need for nobility in Leo. Here's the need to work with the team, to hold your part together, to be responsible. And so across the whole cycle, Jupiter's gone through the spectrum of experience, the different attitudes, two things. So if Jupiter is aligned in Capricorn and Aquarius, it's, it's aligned to Saturn and to responsibilities. So as it's, as it's going through life, when you're looking at other things, when you're putting to put the whole chart together, you know that Jupiter is aligned to Saturn, and there's going to get, be tendency to give much more cautious advice or defensive advice than that. When Jupiter's in the spring and summer signs, it's not going to give responsible or defensive advice. It's going to give explorative, explorative, adventurous advice, which may cause problems. Either way, you're going to learn from the good or the bad experiences. 